Hello everyone, myself I'm Vijay Pampali. Uh, so today I'll be demonstrating a restaurant booking system with uh, implementation of queue data structure in Python. So what is a queue? A queue is a linear data structure that follows the basic principle of FIFO, which is uh, first in first out. So this basically means that the first element added to the queue is the first one to be removed. So let's take an example. Imagine uh, there's a line at the ticket counter. So the first person in line is the first uh, one to be served, just like the first element in the queue. So similarly, let's uh, take our topic, uh, the restaurant booking system as an example. Suppose we have a person, let's say Alex. So if uh, Alex wants to reserve a table, he'll have to give certain informations like the number of guests and the date and time of arrival, etc. So when Alex comes first, he's the first one in queue. He'll be added into the queue. Now, uh, let's say another person comes in, say John or something. Now, when uh, John comes into the queue, he'll also have to give inf the same information like number of guests and all. Now, John is the second person in queue, so he'll have to wait for his turn uh, for Alex to finish his reservation. Uh, more people uh, make their reservations, uh, all of them get added into the queue and they will be served one by one uh, according to the first in first out principle. So that's how queue works in a restaurant booking system. Uh, now let's move on to the coding part where we'll be demonstrating the uh, booking system. So first we have to create a class called a reservation. We define the initiation state this way. Then uh, this is the information that the user has to give to do a reservation. That is the name, the number of guests, and also the time. And we define it. Also the time. Now after this we create another class for the queue like to define the queue so reservation queue we define AF self.queue like this and we create an empty list then uh, we define add reservation this is to uh, append the names of the reservations that are being made which uh, would also ask for the details such as the name the number of guests and also the time so we give Q dot append. So we append this into the queue. Okay. 
print Operation added for name at time. So this will uh, give a confirmation that the reservation has been made and it's been added to the queue. Now uh, let's define another one which is for cancellation of a reservation so cancel reservation so this would be in a way such that uh, if we need to cancel a reservation they would ask for a name which the in which the reservation has been made and if the name is present then it would uh, the reservation would be cancelled and if there is no name in there is no reservation in the given name then uh, an error would be in uh, would be the output which would say that no reservation has been made in this name so let's give the code and for reservation in numeric if reservation dot name equals name cell dot q dot pop so this would uh, remove the pop would remove the name from the queue from the reservation now So this is to give a confirmation that the reservation has been cancelled. So that's for the cancellation of reservation, cancelling the reservation. Now, uh, sorry, uh, we have an other one which is to be defined, uh, which is uh, if there are no names found in the in the queue so return if So this is what would come if uh, there is no name found in the queue. So that's all for cancellation. Now let's move on to the next, which is serving uh, the next customer in line. Dot Q. Print. No customer waiting. Else reservation equals self dot q dot pop zero print. Serving reservation dot name. So in this, uh, we have like if there is no uh, element in the queue, that is no names in the queue, it would give no customers waiting. 
and if there is any reservation left uh, the first which is in the line that is uh, the element 0 would come up and show that it's serving the first name uh, the first customer which is in the queue now after the serve next customer uh, we have the display queue which would uh, show all the customers that are inside the queue display queue So this means that if there is nothing inside the queue, uh, it would show the queue is empty and or else print current queue for reservation in self queue print. So if uh, there is any customer in the queue, it would show uh, all the customers along with their name, the number of guests and also the time which they have booked for. Now let's do an example. This would uh, demonstrate all these, uh, demonstrate the queue which we have just created. So first we give reservation, we initiate the queue. Reservation Cancel Reservation Serve Next Customer Display Queue and finally we give an exit button which is uh, to exit the booking system okay so these are the options uh, that will be that will come out when we run the code now let's give the enter your choice so this would uh, allow the user to give an i mean like give their options uh, so that they can add the reservation cancel or 
display the queue etc so using uh, conditions we give uh, the output to each one of the choices so for the first one which is add reservation we give the name as input enter name then after that comes the guests enter number of guests and then we have the time Reservation time. Okay, so that's for the it. So these all these inputs which the user gives which are names, guests and time would be uh, appended into the uh, queue using the add reservation which we have given before. This one. Now after adding reservation we have uh, the option to cancel the reservation. So we have Ellie called then uh, equal input equal reservation dot cancel reservation. So if there is any uh, name which was given as the input, it, uh, the reservation on that name would be cancelled. Now after this we have the third choice which is serve next customer. Reservation queue dot serve next customer. So this would automatically uh, show the next customer, which is uh, now after that we have the fourth choice, which is to display the queue. That is also reservation queue dot display queue. So this will display all the customers that are there in the queue. And uh, finally, we have the fifth option, which is exit. So here we give the break command. Else. Then. So this uh, output would be shown if any numbers other than 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5 are entered. Now uh, when we run this code, uh, 
as you can see uh, these five options are shown as I said uh, let's enter our choice let's first uh, first let's add a reservation four sets and time 12 30. as you can see uh, the uh, confirmation message was sent reservation added for Alex at 12 30 so this is the first uh, reservation which is in the queue now let's make uh, another reservation uh, uh, let's do John two guests and at one o'clock so similar message has been shown added for john at one o'clock now let's uh, take a look at the display queue as you can see the current queue is alex for, uh, which is first in the queue with four guests at 12 30 and john is second in the queue with three guests at our one o'clock now let's try cancelling a reservation by giving option two by asking for the name to cancel the reservation uh, let's give alex as you can see the reservation for alex has been cancelled now let's again check the display queue here uh, the reservation for Alex has been cancelled and now John's reservation is the first one in the queue. Now uh, let's again add one more reservation. Four guests at 2.30. Uh, reservation has been added. Now let's try to serve next customer. So as you can see John was the first one in queue after deleting after cancelling uh, Alex's reservation. Now after serving John the next one in queue would be Damon. So yeah once you, when you enter serve next customer again as you can see it's shown serving Damon. So that's how the uh, the restaurant booking system works. Now let's exit. So that's the end of the tour. So I hope you all of you have understood how to create a basic uh, restaurant reservation system using queues in Python. So queues are a valuable data structure for handling tasks in first come first serve manner. So thank you for watching.